Hello. Today I'm going to show you how to attack Windows XP SP0 from Armitage, uh, or Armitage, however you want to say it, within Kali Linux. As you can probably see, I'm doing this from within VMs. Uh, both the VMs are on an ESX server, but that's neither here nor there. You can do them within separate machines as long as they're somehow able to hit each other uh, from th their various networks. First off, just to verify things with NXP, I'm going to see that uh, my settings are set up and I can actually get out. So I'm going to open up a command prompt. You're an IP config, and it looks like I have an IP address and fault gateway. And so I'm going to try and just ping that default gateway just to make sure I can get out. And yes, I can ping that. Next, I'm going to open up Notepad and type in that IP address and just some message. Why I'm doing this is just to verify when I've actually attacked the machine I'm going to just take a screen cap and if I see this same information then I'll, then I'll know that the attack was successful. At this point the XP machine I'm pretty much done with. I'm just going to go over to Kali. Kali, I'll go ahead and log in. Just going to use the good old root and tour to log into Kali. From within here, I want to actually also verify my IP settings and see if I can get out and actually can touch the XP machine. So I'm going to open up a console window and do I have config? And yes, it looks like I have a IP address there. So I'm going to try pinging my default gateway from within here. I wrote it wrong. We'll try that again. 222. Two, two. There we go. And then if I can ping the XP machine, which if you remember was this. And yes, I can hit the XP machine. So that's good. Now at this point, I'm going to start up Metasploit by going to Exploitation Tools and just Metasploit. Why you do this is Armitage uses the Metasploit database in the background to get all of its information. And so, yes, you can set up Kali to specifically start this on startup, but this is actually a, a brand new VM off the Kali website, so I want to show how you can do this without, uh, with minimal spe specified setup. And so I'll go ahead and start up the Metasploit framework to make sure it's running in the background so Armitage can hit that. Once I get a command prompt, I'm just going to open up Armitage. If you'll notice, I go back and forth between Armitage and Armitage all the time. It depends on who I'm talking to, what they say it actually is, so I just kind of mix it up. They'll then ask if I want to connect to the database, and I say yes, connect. And yes, I want RPC server. And so, again all, again, all I did was I typed in Armitage and hit enter at the command prompt to do all this. And it will go through its various configurations, try to connect to the database, and if there aren't too many errors, then it should open up a nice pretty window. From within here, I need to actually find my XP machine that I want to attack. So to do this, I'll go to Hosts, MMAP Scan, Quick Scan OS Detect, and I'll type in the range that I want to get. I could just type in the specific IP address since I know the IP, but for fun I'm just wanting to see if there's any other machines on this network. And I'll hit OK. So what this did was I said, OK, MMAP, I want you to go out and look for all machines on 123.45.67.0 through 255, all machines, see if there's anything out there. If there's a machine out there, great. I want you to try and figure out what OS it's running, OS detect. Why is that? Well, I, if I know it is a Windows machine, then I can look for attacks specific to that Windows and also even maybe the Windows version, as opposed to just throwing every attack at it in the book, you know, Linux, Windows, versions 95 through whatever, and you know Mac, whatever. This actually gives me an idea of the OS so, it, the, um, can, so I can more fine tune my attack searches. And it looks like it was complete, click OK. 
That's the same machine, 1234567.1. If you remember, I'll go over here, 1234567.1. You'll notice if I hover over it, it does say Windows 2000. Windows 2000 and XP SP0 were similar cores, and so it's not that big a deal that it thought it was uh, Windows 2000. A lot of the same attacks will apply. So I found the host, now I need to find the attacks for this host that's running what they think is Windows 2000. So I can go to Attacks, and I can go to Find Attacks. And this will search the database looking for any attacks that it has in its database for this specific version of Windows. You know, it says, yes, it found all these attacks. That's great. So now I have found the machine, one. Second, I found the attacks. Now I need to actually use one of those attacks to attack the machine. So with the machine selected, again, because the green box is around it, I right click and I go to attack. There's one attack that's very popular. It's the SMB. It's MS08067 Net API. I'll click on that. And I'll use all the settings that it gives me. Uh, Armitage, Armitage is very nice that way. It's very user friendly and will actually set up a lot of the stuff for you. And I'll launch the attack. What this is trying to do is it's going out and saying using this MS08067 attack, I want to try and actually connect to an attack 123.45.67.1. You'll notice if it's successful, then I get the what I like to call the old MBA jam, you're on fire, because it's turned red and there's lightning bolts going around. That means I have actually pwned this machine, I own it. How can I verify that? One way to do that is I'm going to right click on it, go to a interpreter, I'm going to go to explore, and there's one that says screenshot. What this will do is take a screenshot of the machine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, dot one, you got me. 1234567.1, you got me. So this shows that I have indeed attacked the Windows XP machine as I'm able to get a screenshot of it. There's many other things you can do. You can actually interact with a command shell. Um, you can log keystrokes. If they have a webcam, you can check that webcam. This is just to show you how to use Armitage to use MS08067 to successfully attack a Windows XP SP0 machine. Thank you for your time today.